there has never been a molecular water pump discovered and water transport, as far as we know, is always passive. I'll talk through the standing gradient model. Here's the source of the water and animals can use the standing gradient to import or export water. Here are two cells and I'm going to exaggerate the space between them and that is a tight junction. The standing gradient model starts with three sodiums for two potassiums powered by ATP and the potassiums simply go back out to continue this process. Chloride follows passively, attracted by the positive sodiums. And if there are aquaporins, then the high solute concentrations cause water to move in by osmosis, which in turn brings water in from the source. The current created carries water away. It's called the standing gradient model because the sodium and chloride pumped into the space between the two cells form a standing gradient. As the sodium and chloride are taken away by the water current, new sodium and chloride are pumped in. There's a standing gradient. It stands over time as water is moved across the membrane. If the ions are needed to continue this process, then sodium comes back in and chloride comes back into the cell elsewhere. Alternatively, Sodium may be moved in passively or actively. I'm just showing a sodium channel here and a chloride channel here. And that also can be the source of sodium and chloride. The net effect is to move water across a membrane with the sodium and chloride that created the high concentrations being recovered and recycled.